you've gone from one you went from Saturday Night Live to movies yeah. that that did extremely well. You know, Some. with far, well Farley. Uh, you know. Yeah, Tommy Boy, Joe Dirt. There's ones that have done better than others. Yeah, you're right. Who was the genius <clears> that figured that you two guys would be good in the first movie? Who 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 figured? That was Lauren. Was it Lauren who said, yeah. "Hey, you guys should make a movie together." He said, he told two writers they write a movie about these guys, the way they act around the office. Like Farley has a room with Spade, and then he Spade's like the fake smart one, and Farley <laughs> walks behind him and asks him questions, and then I make fun of him, and then he. It's laughs sort of like the Three Stooges concept. Yeah, that was Mo just, was smarter than the other yeah, two idiots. Yeah, fake smarter, and right. and then uh, uh, but I was always like uh, in awe that he was so good, and almost didn't know it. So even in movies like Tommy Boy, the only thing I could bring to that is saying, "Why don't I'm remembering bits and pieces he would say over the weeks or years that were funny, and just go." This actually one line we got to work in because you said it two weeks ago. Or fat guy in little coat. Let's let's try to put that in the movie somewhere. You know, it's so dumb, but I think people think it's funny if we do it. Little weird things and gestures and funny faces. We would because he did them so uh, casually that I would try to log him in my head and go, God, that's going to be great. And I didn't know Lorne Michaels looked at the two of you guys and said, this will be a great movie. I mean, that's brilliant. That was a great call because if you think about it, we never could have pitched that movie. If you went to Paramount and said, two guys drive across Ohio and try to sell brake pads, <laughs> it's the <laughs> yeah, dumbest it's, idea in the right. world. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's just silly. Yeah, I mean. How long does it take to shoot a movie like that? It was pretty quick, but we shot it during Silent Live. And Do you, who wrote the script? Uh, Bonnie and Terry Turner and then Fred Wolf, who I've worked with a million times since, has done it. Right. He's sort of turned into my writing partner since, but it, it was punched up, and then we went to Toronto, and we would do, you know, SNL on Saturday. We'd fly in a jet to Toronto. We'd shoot all Sunday. Maybe that's what made the movie Monday, great, because uh, come back. you guys you guys don't have to think it through so much. It's like almost like, hey, we're in the middle of Saturday Night Live, we got to go shoot this movie, and you know, you don't, you don't put too much energy in one place getting neurotic about right. it. You just but then maybe fun. the pressure of that is too much. I don't know. You know, one time, I got skinnier and he got fatter. I know that for sure. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, see, something's going on. Lauren goes, well, at least it stays on the screen. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> the same weight. Do you ever watch the old movies, or are they too painful? Yeah. I mean, they're yeah. on so much that you get caught up in them, and it's sort of sad and fun because you remember the whole day of the shoot. You remember right. one day going, uh, let's bring a little clip-on tie and say it's a clip-on, and you go, really? And then we go, let's just try to put that in somewhere in the scene because you'd see the mini sides for the next day and go, this feels a little flat. What can we do that is stupid? Like housekeeping from Tommy Boy. I would do every morning when I came to his room. I'd go, housekeeping, and he'd go, Ugh. <laughs> I go, housekeeping. And he goes, the fuck out of here. Put that fucking thing on the door. And I go, housekeeping. He goes, God damn it. And then he'd open the door and he goes, oh, it's you. And then when I go, you do, you, the, do you know I do this every morning, Chris? When you do that stuff in real life and it's funny yeah. and then you go to try it on film. You don't know for sure. And we were just like left alone in Toronto doing Time Boys. So we'd wake up and the director and one of the writers and go, can we just try this? And, and the director, Pete Siegel, was great because sometimes... Because he didn't know us well, but sometimes he'd go, I trust you guys. If you think this is funny, I go, I don't know, but made us laugh last night. And the carpenters singing and stuff we do anyway, we go, if it's done right, I think people will think it's funny too. 